the problems with flat models is that you don't get the sense of three dimensions that you need to be able to do uh, vaginal and perineal repairs. So I've taken our same model and I've pinned it to a uh, foam block. It's just a uh, discarded foam rubber that I've gotten from a, from a uh, fabric store. Um, I've created a hymen, so this represents the hymen. So here is a flat plane, a little bit further, this is inside the vagina, and then this is the perineal plane. I'm gonna just move a little bit so you can see. As I spread the wound on my foam block underneath, I've put vulvocavernosus muscle. And so while even in this picture, it's a little bit hard to see that it's three-dimensional, you can now see that it's a little bit more three-dimensional. The other thing that you can do is to put a wire hoop over it um, to give you the sense of that it's inside of a, the vagina and then use um, a, a baby shirt or a piece of stocking net or uh, uh, even pantyhose to create um, the, the upper portion of the vagina to make your simulation more realistic.